New to Historian? Installing Historian for the first time? Hi, I'm Kathleen McKenna. I'm an information developer here at GeoDigital, and I'm going to walk you through the installation process. Historian is a high-performance data management software product with an 18-year legacy in optimizing collection and aggregation of time-based industrial data. Historian software is supported on the following Windows operating systems. In this video, we will be installing Historian on Windows Server 2019. For more information on the supported operating systems and other system requirements, just refer to the Historian Getting Started Guide. Before we begin, you're going to need to do a few things. First, log on to your computer as an administrator. Next, confirm that you aren't logged in via RDP or a terminal server session. And then finally, make sure there are no other GE processes running. Let's get started. So double-click the install launcher.exe. The Historian installer menu has changed in version 8.0. You'll now see separate installers for the web-based clients and the Excel add-in for OpsHub. Click Install Historian to get started with the basic install. The welcome screen is going to appear. Click Next to continue. The license agreement appears. Now you're going to read through the terms and just click Accept to continue and then Next. Here you can specify where you want to install the product. To install on the default disk, just click Next. In this Next screen, you could leave the default path or pick a new one. We're going to leave it with the defaults and then click Next again. On the UAA configuration screen, again, we're going to leave the defaults and click Next. Now, since we're installing a single server historian today, just select Historian Single Server and then click Next. Now, finally, the Install screen appears. You're just going to click Install. Now, the installation bar appears and the install proceeds. The installation process may take some time. As the installation progresses, you're going to notice several things installing in the background here. Some of the great new features included with this version of Historian include an Excel add-in for OpsHub, the common UAA for Historian, the MQTT collector, um, we have Java APIs, and enhanced REST APIs. Lots of great stuff. So now we're getting towards the end. Click Exit when the successful installation screen appears, and then click Yes to restart your computer. After your computer restarts, the Historian installation process will complete. This concludes our walkthrough. Be sure to install and activate your licensing before using the product. Thank you for watching.